In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do enchanting dragon eyes. Now you can also do any type of reptilian eye, you know, like a lizard, a frog, crocodile. All these different eyes require different techniques, which I won't be able to show you everything in this video, but the basics will be the same. So you can tweak those to make any type of eye that you want. If you want a more in-depth tutorial where I go over these different techniques for creating all these different types of eyes, then check out the link for my masterclass listed in the description box below. Let's get started by first showing you the materials that you're going to need. Oh, and remember to look at the description box below for details about the color art giveaway and to look for the secret clue that will show up in your screen somewhere on this video. You'll need it for a chance to win the $400 color art shopping spree. The first thing that you'll need is a glass cabochon. This is a 40 millimeter cabochon and these are smaller sizes. These are, I think, an 18 millimeter size. So just choose the size that you want for your dragon eye. And you're also going to need some nail polish or some color art pigments. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the primary element pigments from Color Art mixed in with a uh, nail polish base. However, you do have the option of using regular nail polish. I already have some primary elements from Color Art mixed into those tiny little vials that you see on your left hand side. And those vials are just amazing for uh, storing all your primary element mixes. They, you can find those at the dollar store. They're these small glass vials with a metal cap. Um, do not get plastic ones because those will not hold and they will just melt. I've already tried that. Make sure that these are the glass vials. These are 40 millimeter. I really like that size but the ones that I used for my uh, dragon dice box were 18 millimeters. You'll also need a pointed tool like this one, which I found also at the dollar store in the crafting section. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and then also an X-Acto knife, which I bought at Walmart, but you can find on Amazon and a dotting tool, which I also found at the dollar store. All of these are primary element pigments from Color Art, and this is a black paint, and they have all been mixed with this TKB nail polish base. All these mixtures are the ones that you will be using for making your eyes, and I made my own black mixture because even though you can use regular nail polish, a black nail polish, to color the center of your eye, this nail polish is not very pigmented, so I decided to make my own mix. But if you can find a black nail polish that is very high quality, highly pigmented, you can just do that. And again, I used the TKB nail polish base, and I mixed that with this Alumilite black pigment dye that is meant to be used for resin, but I'm pretty sure you can also use something like a black mica powder or even acrylic paint will work. You'll also need a few brushes like these ones, and now let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna do is paint a black line in the center of the glass cabochon. You're going to put a dot of black paint in the center of the eye and then you're going to drag it towards the edges. Don't worry if this line is not perfect. I'll show you how you can clean up this line in just a little bit. You can draw a more oval shaped line like you see on this piece or a thinner line. It all just depends on what type of eye you are doing. Once your black varnish dries up, you're going to clean it up with your X-Acto knife. 
Just scrape around the edges until you get a nice clean line. You're going to get a fan brush and you're going to add a little bit of that black paint mixture and you just want to fan it out on the outer edges of the glass cabochon so don't add a lot it just needs to be uh, like light strokes of this black paint Let the paint dry and then come in with your scraper and scrape off a little bit of that black paint. You want to make some lines throughout that whole black outer edge. Now grab any color that you want and just apply a thin coat over the black outer edge. It's fine if you go over a little because all of this is going to blend in the end. The next step is to choose a different color and you're going to add that color next to the color that you've already added onto the glass cabochon. You're going to continue adding rings of different colors of varnish. Now fill up the center of the eye with whatever color you want, making sure to cover the black line. You want to be somewhat quick when adding these layers or these circles of varnish because you're going to start scratching the surface of, your, of the back of your cabochon, so you're going to flip it just like you see right now, and then you're going to scratch the bottom side with that little pointy thing that we got from the dollar store. You want to form these patterns that a normal eye has, but if the, if the varnish is starting to dry, you will start getting clumps. So you're gonna be moving your pointy thingy back and forth, making lines starting at the outer edge of the glass cabochon and working your way in. As you get closer and closer to the inside, you will start pulling a little bit of that black line to the outer edge and so that's going to create a little bit of organ an organic look on that iris but you want to be careful not to scratch that black surface too much otherwise it's not going to look good you're going to probably end up with some uh, areas where you don't have any black so all you want to do is get close enough to pull a little bit of that black paint towards the outer edge, drag a little bit of that black paint so that it has these sort of wispy lines coming out from the center, but you don't want to go in too much where you start pulling all of that paint off. Now you're going to let it dry and then you're going to come in and add a last layer all over the back of that cabochon and that last layer will just ensure that you cover any missing spots where maybe you took off a little bit too much varnish and it will just make it look nice and even and the back will look a lot better with that last coat that you add at the end 
Now I'm doing this same exact process with just different colors so that you can see the different varieties of uh, eye colors that you can get. And uh, this one in particular, I did not add that black uh, feathering on the outer edge of the glass cabochon, as you can see, and that is totally fine. That black outer edge is just optional. To me, I just think that adding that black outer edge adds a little bit of depth to the eye, but it can be a little bit tricky to not add too much. So if you want to just give it a try without that black outer edge, that is totally fine and you will still get a beautiful eye. If you're just planning on using regular nail polish, then just follow the same exact steps as I mentioned previously, and the only thing different that you're going to do is replace your color art uh, paint mixtures with your nail polish. What to do with your dragon eyes? There's tons of possibilities. For example, you can use some UV resin and a pendant and you will have beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Or add a little bit of air dry clay and shape it up paint it and make a beautiful magnet or make a wire wrapped bracelet, a funky diary, cute potion bottles, more intricate pendants, a jewelry box, or a dragon dice box just like the one you saw at the beginning of this video. I bet you're pretty excited to get started and if you want to learn how to make other styles of eyes like these ones, these beautiful color shifting eyes and reptilian eyes, you know, like frog eyes and all these other styles of eyes that require slightly different techniques, then go ahead and check out my masterclass. It is listed in the description box below. And now that you have this tutorial for the dragon eyes, you can go ahead and make this amazing dragon dice box. So go ahead and check out this video. I know you want to.